For this part, it's going to be uh, really, really straightforward. Um, you know, this is just one method by which you can test uh, the actual uh, resistance of your entire cutter. Um, you know, I'm using the mini hand cutter just because it's the easy, easiest to hold. Um, you can use the larger one or the tabletop. Um, you know, but after you've done all your calculations, you've, you've measured everything out, you know, and you think you have, you know, say like uh, two ohms or three ohms, is don't forget there is other metal in all of this. So you might actually have a little bit higher resistance than what you had originally calculated. Um, and it's much easier just to assemble all of this and then test it. So um, all you really need is just your voltometer or multimeter. Um, and I'll zoom in and just kind of show you guys uh, how to hook all of this up. Um, and I, this is another reason why I like the um, uh, bullet snap-on connectors here is because you can easily just crimp onto these and you know, have all your stuff tested just fine. So taking one of the leads from the voltometer, hooking it onto one side, hooking it onto the other side. So what this is doing is just creating the whole circuit and finishing out. You know, make sure that you have your nichrome wire attached um, you know, to complete the loop itself. Um, and what you want on your uh, multimeter is down here the little omega symbol. Um, you've probably seen me write that a few times. Uh, and that's just going to be resistance or uh, ohms for that matter. I usually like to turn it down to the uh, 200 uh, just because um, you get a better decimal place. I mean, as you start to turn this up, you know, you start to drop decimal places and that kind of stuff. And it's just the 200 works a little bit better. Um, so as you can see, uh, we're testing out at about 2.8 uh, ohms. So, you know, that's, that's a pretty good, uh, you know, not really that high, um, but it is very important to determine your ohms if you're starting to get um, a clip or a top out voltage on your power supply. If you're seeing where the power supply is turning off or you can't turn it higher and you know it can provide more, uh, go to the troubleshooting section, uh, uh, scenario number two, and I'll kind of show you how to counteract that. But that, that's just how you do, uh, or at least test ohms uh, in your circuit. So pretty easy.